How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and over the weekend I went to Race Wars in Fontana, California and I ran into a bunch of you guys so thank you guys for coming up to me and showing your guys the support. The car show was uh well it was quite interesting. There were a lot of uh questionable cars so so today we're gonna go ahead and look at some of the cars and I want you guys to decide if these cars are rice or nice. If by chance your car does end up in this video don't take personal offense to anything I say. My whole YouTube channel is based on just saying stupid stuff. So if I say something stupid about your car that you don't quite agree with, that's fine. That's what my whole channel is based on. Hell, I say stupid shit about my own car, so don't worry about it. So it's all just for fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, starting out light on this first build, no pun intended. We have a light blue RSX with a carbon fiber hood, some nice aftermarket wheels, a tuck fitment slammed on the floor. RSXs, when you think about it, are just a cooler version of a Honda Civic. I would prefer to have an RSX, even the, I mean, the Type S is pretty cool, you gotta admit. But, uh, I mean, this is a pretty clean, pretty subtle RSX. Besides the baby blue, nothing too crazy out there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look into the interior. And it's an automatic. But, you know what, everything else, I mean, I guess it's not the worst thing ever. All right, next up, we have a Slammy Boy Honda Civic. I don't know if it's static. I don't know if it's on bags, but one thing I do know is it's on the fucking floor. Wheels aren't the worst thing ever, but you know what, guys? If you're trying to achieve a super low status, what you guys got to do is get two gigantic subwoofers and put them in the trunk. That's how you make sure your right is just scraping its balls on the floor. Combined with the annoying sound of the exhaust, this thing is probably just obnoxious paired with those subwoofers. You got the <laughs> sounding exhaust combined with <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I still to this day can't imagine me doing something like this to my car. Not only did he go out and buy a full Halloween store with the props just to set up at his car show for whatever reason. I mean, you got to literally drive around with props in your car. And once you pull up, you got to get out and set up all the cute little props just to make your car look different, I guess. The Lambo doors on the Dodge Charger. The wheels, eh, it's Dodge Charger. What do you expect? Interior, you got more shit going on in there. Again, it's, it, I just, <laughs> I can't imagine just like ever pulling up to a car meet and setting up props. And you got to love the license plate that says, all go. Uh-huh. Finally, something right off the bat that doesn't look like dog shit. Wheel setup is pretty good. Fitment isn't the best. The color, the color's really nice. I like how this car didn't go for anything super crazy. It has a nice little ducktail, and that's it. That's all it needs. It doesn't really need anything crazy. Everything else is just really nice. And then we have this car, Black Panther themed Dodge Challenger. Why would you go and put Black Panther all over your car? I don't know, because you're a fan of Black Panther. At least it's a V8. Nothing unique underneath the hood, of course. He's distracting you with all the cute little toys. We got Black Panther all over the car. Wheel setup isn't bad. We've seen far worse, for sure. We cool. I actually like the mask inside the, the interior. It's pretty cool. It's obviously high quality. But yes, just a really random Black Panther Dodge Challenger. Finally, we made it to our first segment of hood check. We got to check underneath the hood. If you got your hood popped, we're going to be checking out and see what you're flexing. All right, let's see what this bad boy's got underneath the hood. Oh, I'm way. Oh, okay. Aftermarket intake wrapped in gold. Uh, all right. All right. Well, let's see what the rest of his car has. We got a bunch of stickers on the side of a bunch of shit he probably doesn't have on his car. Wheels are fine. Nothing special going on there. Into the interior. Same thing. Just a whole lot of nothing special. Aftermarket shifter. Little red button right there for some fuck all reason. Into the trunk. Subwoofers. Yay. We got another hood check. Underneath the hood we have... A toy, yay, and some fake red carbon fiber. I'm guessing it's hydro dipped, which is still cool, but just hydro dipped red carbon fiber isn't really gonna do much. Carbon fiber hood though, that's pretty cool. Lambo doors on the Dodge Charger doesn't even surprise me anymore. We LEDs in the wheel well going into the interior. Do we have anything cool in there? Nope, just a whole bunch more of that fake red carbon fiber. Cool, cool, cool. Going into the rear, it is on bags, and we have a Nerf gun, which is cute, I guess. More toys, more props, it's cute. I guess, whatever. All right, we got an unofficial hood check right here. There is a supercharger on this 5.0 Mustang, so very unofficial hood check, but the wide body, what you guys think? What you guys think of this S550 with the wide body? It is hella thick, and it is really loving that orange. I mean, almost a little bit too much for my own taste, but what do you guys think? Carbon fiber, super wide body kit, also Lambo doors. I mean, is it a little bit too much? Is it just right? What do you guys think? You guys gotta let me know down in the comments. Is this car rice or nice? It's also an automatic, but that 10 speed is pretty mean. This next S550, damn, now that is looking hella sleek. Look at that. Slammed, tucked, cow hood, really aggressive GT500 front end. Damn, that is super sick, man. This car is just, oh, it's almost perfect. Uh, wait. 
It's a V6. Get away from me, please. Don't. Oh my God. No. Oh God. It was. It was a catfish. Please stop. Stop it. We got another hood check. Anybody out there like rotaries? Well, too bad. 2J swapped RX7. Suck my balls. That one passes the hood check with flying colors. 2J swapped RX7. Now that's now that's a pretty interesting swap. Also on Volk Racing TE37s with a big wing on the back. It's a pretty good looking RX7, and I think its looks fit its performance. But then we come up to this child's toy car right here. What is going on? What's with all the toy guns? Come on, man. Wow. When you gotta set props out on your car. Well, you're doing something wrong, man. You ain't building the car anymore. You're building a fucking display for Toys R Us, man. Come on. This isn't car stuff, man. Nobody said, you know what? I need to buy for a mod for my car. The fake M16 and the fake M1 Garand. You gotta buy both of those. Can't forget about the fucking M60 light machine gun on the roof, too. Gotta buy those for your car mods, okay? You know what? You can't go to a car show without those mods. We got another hood check. Let's take a look. <gasps> I can't see jack shit under there worth anything of importance. I just see a bunch of stupid spray painted pink pieces. So let's get out of there. The wheels though. We do have Volk racing wheels, which is probably where all of the budget was wasted. Not a bad way to waste all your money. Can't complain there. It's better than a chassis mounted wing. I'm assuming it's a girl's car. The white and pink is just screaming, uh, I'm a lady. If not, then I'm sorry. I think it's time for another hood check. What we got under, what, what, where are you, where are you going, Drew? Where are you going? Why did, where are you, all right, I guess we're looking at the side now. Okay, here we go. Now the hood check underneath the hood. Oh, a boasted Honda Civic. Look at that header. Jesus Christ, that is some crazy ass shit. Honda Civic passes. Next on to this 370Z. Super thick, boy. 370s are already pretty wide. But then you go ahead and throw a wide body on top of that. Super deep dish wheels. Stupid ugly ass wing. But let's just ignore that. Without that stupid ugly ass wing, I think this car was made for me. He knows I'm a fan of orange cars. Who's feeling another hood check on another Honda Civic Si? Oh my god, we got a whole lot of uh, pool noodles. That's a bit different. Haven't seen pool noodles here yet. But pool noodles and aftermarket intake and a bunch of red. The rest of the car follows that similar style. Red everywhere. Red and white everywhere. Is this thing a fucking candy cane or a used tampon? Haven't said that joke in a while. Anyways, into the interior, red everywhere. Into the trunk, guess what? More red. If you thought it was a different color, you're wrong and you're stupid. Let me know if his performance backs up his crazy looks. Is this car rice or nice? Next car looks like a car your little brother would make on Midnight Club LA. We have a slammed Honda Element with exhibit special wheels. Those things are super chromey. We have a fake fender scoop right there for some odd reason. Cheap wide body fender flares with the fitment that is absolutely just dog shit. On to the rear. What are you doing up there, boy? Get down from there. You're going to hurt yourself. What are you doing? Come on, please. Oh, and then right next to it. What is that? I see something out of the corner of my eye oh it's a honda civic si with a big wing well come on boy at least pop your hood let's see if that big wing is doing anything because right now it just looks like it's slowing you down i'm gonna bet it's for sure slowing you down when i see that side oh my god boy what are you doing to your car pink wheels anime all over the car the crazy creation first lady okay come on man anime is cool and all but you don't gotta let everyone know you're a virgin next car dodge challenger mopar crew right here underneath the hood we got a cannon intake all right cool that's that's you know plus three horsepower cool hellcat wheels drag radials in the rear and a gigantic wing holy shit that is one big ass swing that's bigger than any wing we've seen so far and we have seen some monstrosities on some of these cars let me know what you guys think is this car rice or nice all right slammed miata probably the smallest car i've seen all day when i first walked next to it i couldn't believe what was next to me i thought it was a small puppy wheels hella tucked with about an eight inch dildo as an exhaust pipe talk about a stance boy i think it's time for another hood check underneath this eclipse's hood a bunch of pool noodles cool just what i like to see going on to the side super wide body kit lambo doors bunch of stickers all over it harnesses we got the whole nine yards we got no steering wheel someone stole it i feel bad for this guy into the trunk just a bunch of non-performance shenanigans back there let me know is this eclipse rice or nice and directly next to it the mother of all cars the gtr rocking a highlighter yellow wrap with super deep dish wheels look at those tennis balls i bet you didn't even notice them they were camouflage they look like hamsters in a wheel right there so cute into the trunk more tennis balls why don't know it's on air suspension obviously i mean look how low it is it's a nice looking gtr it's just a bit crazy but that gtr is no match for the veloster with lambo doors i mean look at that that is one sexy ass ride 
What do you call a bunch of Kia Stingers parked next to each other? A beehive. Bzzz. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's just about time for another hood check. What does the Veloster with Lambo doors have underneath the hood? <gasps> Nothing! It's a stock Veloster. Look at that. Congrats. Congrats, everyone. A stock Veloster with Lambo doors. Hopefully, this Infinity will have a better hood check. Let's take a look underneath the hood. Bunch of pool noodles. God damn it. Can you quit putting pool noodles on your car? Where's your damn air filter? That is so bad for your engine. You have no idea. All right, guys. After many years of searching, I finally found it. I finally found your grandfather's uncle's dog's cousin's hamster's Honda that can gap a 5 -0. Take a look. <laughs> Alright, enough of that nonsense. We didn't come here for racing, we came here for ricers. And let's take a look at this Subaru BRZ. Fitment, piss poor. Why the hell do you have so much wheel gap? I could stick my penis in between there with plenty of room to spare. Mud flaps, don't know why you have them. It ain't a WRX, kid. Spiky lug nuts, be careful. <laughs> Get a load of this, boy. We got a hood check! Stock looking set with... Wait, what? 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 A boosted Saturn? Why? Why would someone... It's a sleeper build. This right here, look at this. Unassuming, unassuming car. Sickest sleeper build of the episode. Guys, if you want to make a sleeper, this is what you do. You buy a Saturn. No one expects them to be fast. All right, next car. It happens to be lady-driven, but if I go any easier on her just because she's a female, then I'm being sexist and I'm being discriminative. So, guess what? I'm bringing all of the fire. Why would you do this to your stupid-ass V6? Bad kitty? Bad kitten? This ain't a Hellcat, girl. I think you got your Self confused what you doing i thought we have reached the pinnacle of rice earlier in the episode but it turns out the rice train just never stops coming get a load of this guy with his eclipse and he parked far away he parked next to some sort of mural for a guy named paul waker or something like that what is he doing get a load of this guy decals up on the side this is a need for speed kid get out of here with your stupid ugly ass eclipse ugly ass wheels piss poor fitment stupid amazon double decker wing what are you doing there's not even an intercooler on this bad boy that bumper is useless useless oh and his best friend right here come on another eclipse with a double decker wing look at this interior too you guys are about to just throw up in your mouth this interior is just disgusting it looks like it was rattle canned for some sort of movie or something oh man oh it's disgusting i can do that at walmart with my stupid rattle cans everything else about this car just Ugh, screams just disgusting slow ass car obviously i'm joking you guys want to see one of the coolest builds i saw all day look at this patina build right here we have it swapped with a modern day i believe it's a chevy motor i believe the vortexes are chevy truck motors look how much room you have underneath the hood look at that I mean, you, you, you could do a header job just like nothing. Just like nothing. Just super, super roomy underneath there. This is one of the coolest cars I saw all day. Looks super fresh. I like the patina build on it. The colors, too, just really make it pop. I mean, it's it just... It's just nice. It's just a nice truck overall. But I think it is due time for another installment of Hood Check. What you got underneath this hood, Infinity? Let's take a look. Okay, I see some piping underneath there. Where is it leading to? Is it leading to your cool little turbo? <gasps> nope. Nope. It's just a stupid cold air intake, way the hell load, so it could suck up all the water. Cool. Cool car. Yeah, alright, nice. Um, I'm glad you had your hood popped for that. Everything else, though, not the worst thing ever. It looks like Iron Man's car, I guess, if uh, Iron Man was tasteless. Into the interior, bunch of red. Racing helmet. Do I think he's racing? Nope. Not with those wheels. Once you have defeated all the other ricers, you have to fight the final ricer boss. Oh my god, canards. Front splitter. A racing helmet. Is he racing? Highly doubt it. On this car? Very highly doubt it. I, I don't think this car has probably ever seen a track. This is the closest it's ever been to a track. Cold air intake. Do I think it's worth it? Nope. It's got a bunch of decals on the side. Tire lettering. Oh my god. Talk about the whole package when it comes to rice. He's got the whole nine yards. He went and got anything and everything he can get his hands on to make his car look faster without doing anything to actually make it faster. It's been far too long. I think it's time for a hood check. <gasps> stock. Stock. Why? Why do you have it popped? If I wanted to look at a stock Honda Civic, I would have just Googled it. Why? 
Why do you have it? Oh my god, why? I'm so disappointed in myself for even looking. Fifth gen Camaro with its hood popped. Let's take a look. What's underneath that hood, boy? You got a Rotofab cold air intake. And that's about it. That's all I can see. I don't see anything else special underneath there. So, cool. Cold air intake with all of that. Okay, GT500 front fascia with a hood popped with a supercharger sticking out underneath the hood. Holy shit, this is probably the coolest S550. Wait, one, two, three, three coil pack. A six cylinder, a boosted six cylinder. Oh my God, what? what? I mean, at least it's boosted, but come on. All right, oh, finally, something we at least already know is a six cylinder. All right, we have a 370Z, super deep dish chrome wheels. It is obviously going for a stance build right here. The interior, at least it's not rattle canned. It's got carbon fiber pieces here and there. It isn't the worst thing ever, but it is a little bit too much for uh, probably having nothing done underneath the hood. But obviously, I can't see that. You guys want to hear Godzilla roar? Listen. <laughs> Finally, what this episode has been leading to, a hood check of a Mark IV Supra 2JZ, no shit, underneath the hood. We have some pool noodles, I'm a little bit uh, concerned, we have, we do, I do see a couple pool noodles underneath there, my sir, into the interior, oh, oh no, oh god, no, oh, 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 oh no, I, no, why would somebody do this to their super? Oh no, god damn it. TV's in the back. Oh, my iPhone is bigger than that. Why do you even have them back there? Please, god no. Please. I mean, I, let's just look at the super. Let's just look at the motor. Oh my god, it's better than nothing. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and end it there. I can't take any more of this. I'll still play the background footage of some more cars that I got. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. There were a handful of pretty cool builds and a plentiful amount of uh, unique builds. But anyways, like I said, if you ended up in this video and you're butthurt for some reason, it's, it's all for fun. It's all just for jokes. I'm just entertaining some kids. I mean, my channel's name is Drew Peacock. It's not super legit car guys or something like that. So anyways, like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. If you want to support the channel, pick up some merch. Link in the description down below. And until next video, peace.